All right, everyone. So before I get into any summons, I absolutely have to say most of you guys watching the video right now, I would highly advise not pulling a lot of shards right now. If you want to pull a couple, see if you're the chosen one, that's okay. But I would still save most of your shards for a double rates event. But we do have a summoning event. It's just targeted rates. So you just have an increased chance of getting these uh, boosted champions relative to other champions, but the odds of pulling epics and legendaries are still the same. Wait for the times two events where you actually have a 16% chance of epics, 1% chance of legendaries, or 12% from sacreds. That's going to be the best value. Now, there are two reasons why I wanted to summon today. The first one is only a reason that those of you guys who saw the video earlier on the channel uh, that was taken down will know. And, and that is, it's kind of like my little apology for saying, I'm sorry, guys. I did take the video down earlier today. I made a big oversight and I just couldn't keep it up with that oversight in mind. So uh, I took it down and hey, nothing for fun, uh, like a little summon video to, you know, just, just because. Now, the other reason is I, I wanted to mention that especially when we have summoning events going on in raid, a lot of YouTubers are going to come out with summon videos and, and do shard pulls. And I think it's really easy to get confused for a lot of people into thinking that that's also a good time to do summons for all your shards. And that is absolutely not true. Um, I would highly advise that you guys don't just summon all your shards just because you see other videos of people pulling shards. There's not really a whole lot going on in raid, to be honest. So uh, like a lot of YouTubers, including myself, honestly, whenever there's a uh, fun opportunity to pull shards just because it's a, you know, it's a fun video to do, we'll do it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we advise or, or I can't speak for everyone, but that I advise that you guys uh, pull at the same time. So, you know, have fun watching my summons, but definitely save most of your shards for a better event. All right, with that all being said, let's test my luck here. I've got 52 Ancients. I'm going to do a couple of Void Pulls as well. As I mentioned yesterday, if you had to pick one or two uh, between Ancients uh, and, and Sacreds or Voids, Voids are going to be my better bet here. Um, so I'm actually also strangely hoping that I, I don't get that lucky because I kind of want to set an example here that it's not really a great time to pull shards during these events. And I don't want you guys thinking that if I get good stuff, that you're also going to get good stuff. I've been very, very lucky lately. It's, it's shocking how lucky I've been. I can't even cover it up anymore. That's how good the luck has been. So I'm really due for a few more bad summons. Um, so here we go. Let's get to it. Let's do the Ancients, and then we'll do the Voids. So we got five multis. And you're going to see a lot of blue when we don't have these double rates events going on. So, you know, seeing even a single epic is actually not that bad. Like, this is not terrible. Draw Egg here, you know, I think he actually had a, uh, d d was it, am I mis mixing him up with the, I know there's a lot of Lizardmen that all start with J and they sound very similar, but, um, you know, this guy's good. And this is not a terrible pull without times two rates. Now, when you see times two rates, you're going to start to see a lot of epics in your multipoles because 16% is a big increase from 8%. All right, let's keep it going. All right, lots of blue. This is this is typical. You know what? This is like the, the typical example of what you're going to see a lot of the times when you summon outside of these uh, double rates events. So, at least it's a good example so far of why you don't want to go too crazy outside of these events. Another reason is, um, honestly, uh, I am looking for, for certain champions. I, I still am missing, obviously, a lot of legendaries. Alika, oh, that's, that's a good summon. Without times two rates, two epics, wow, what a pull right there. Now, I, I mean, Alika and Romero are not necessarily champions that I am uh, particularly looking for, but two epics is, is not bad. But yeah, all the legendaries featured here, um, even Sir Nicholas, who it would technically be a dupe, he's one of the best champions. And honestly, like, if you're going to get a dupe of legendary, Sir Nicholas is probably one of the champions that you would not mind a dupe of because he is really that good. He's just a very solid, versatile champion. I haven't gotten any of the featured epics either. I don't think so, right? No, I don't think I have. So out of the four epics I've gotten, none of them have been featured either. Lich. Okay. And we got the last multi here. And then I got a couple singles and we got the couple of voids. And and, and that's going to be it for me, guys. Like, even for me, even though I'm making a YouTube video, you know, I could use that as an excuse to do even more summons, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it at this number here. And uh, you guys can kind of see how 
these are already starting to turn out. So, all right, let's do the last couple of singles. Okay. And I'm going to save my sacreds for... Uh, I, I personally think... Oh, we got an epic. Oh, okay, so we did get one of the featured champions, Juliana. Now, Juliana is interesting because I, I think she is very, very good. Uh, if you look at her skills, she is fantastic. Attacks on enemy two times, critical hit. Uh, let's see, then you got her poison here. She does also pair with Romero. Um, she's got the HP burn and the poison. And, and also, she does fill her turn meter a bit, which is nice. The problem is she's an attack-based champion, so she is squishy. You can still build her to be really good in the clan boss, and she can definitely, definitely do some strong damage. But, you know, as you get to the end end game, it, you know, because she's attack-based, that squishiness does kind of work against her. But at least we got one of the featured units so far. All right, let's do these voids here. I think sacreds are a good chance to be the next times to rate, so I don't want to pull those. I'm going to save those. Uh, but voids, we just had that, so I do not have a problem summoning these right here. All right, we got a uh, Centurion and to end things off here, we got ourselves a Stitched Beast. Alrighty, folks, so there we go. That was a very quick uh, 54 shards in total. Wow, man, it goes by fast. But uh, this is a pretty reasonable example of what you can kind of expect to see. Uh, you know, five epics, one of them was featured, no legendaries, very, you know, average-ish pulls. Not terrible or anything, but, you know... This is, this is about the norm when you summon a bunch of shards outside of the uh, times two rates. So save your shards. That's going to be it for me, folks. More videos coming out soon. Have a great day, everyone. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. But with that all being said, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.